Welcome to another video of the Machine Learning from Scratch course presented by Assembly AI. In this series, we implement popular machine learning algorithms using only built-in Python functions and NumPy. In this lesson, we talk about Principal Component Analysis, or short PCA. As always, we start with a short theory section and then we jump to the code. So let's get started. So PCA is an unsupervised learning method that is often used to reduce the dimensionality of the data set by transforming a large set into a lower dimensional set that still contains most of the information of the large set. So unsupervised learning means that we can do this transformation without knowing about the class labels. And this is very important here. So in other words, we try to find a new set of dimensions such that all the dimensions are orthogonal and hence linearly independent and ranked according to the variance of data along them. So we try to find a transformation such that the transformed features are linearly independent. The dimensionality can then be reduced by taking only the dimensions with highest importance. The newly found dimensions should minimize the projection error and the projected points should have maximum spread, which means maximum variance. So this gets much clearer when we look at an example. So in this case, we want to map the points from 2D into 1D, so onto one line. And on the left side, we have a good transformation. This is what PCA will do. And on the right side, we have a bad transformation. So let's say we take these two new axes as our principal components. And then when we map the points onto the first axes, onto the first principal components, then this is what we will end up with. So this is a good projection. So here the data has maximum spread, so maximum variance. And on the other hand, on the right side, here if we take this axis and map the points onto this line, then a lot of points will end up on the same point. So we lose a lot of information. That's why maximizing the variance is very important here. So this is the concept of PCA. And for this, we need some math. So we need to find the variance. This is how much variation or spread the data has. And this is the formula 1 over n and then the sum over x i minus x bar squared and x bar. This is the mean value. And then we also need the covariance matrix. This indicates the level to which two variables vary together. So the formula, the covariance of x and y is 1 over n and then the sum over x minus x bar times y minus y bar transformed. We can also do the covariance of x with x itself. Then we have this formula here. And now if we calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the covariance matrix, then the eigenvectors point in the direction of the maximum variance and the corresponding eigenvalues indicate the importance of its corresponding eigenvector. So if you have a look at this example on the left side, then these two axes are the first two eigenvectors and this axis belongs to eigenvalue one with the highest importance and this one to eigenvalue two. And yeah, so basically this all, all boils down to an eigenvector eigenvalue problem. Um, I'm not going into detail here what eigenvectors are. So if you want to learn more about this, then I will put a resource in the description below. But basically an eigenvector has to fulfill this equation. If we multiply an eigenvector with a matrix A, then this is just a scaling with a scalar value lambda. So yeah, this is what eigenvectors do. And now the steps we have to do is first we subtract the mean from X. Then we calculate the covariance of x and x. Then we calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the covariance matrix. Then we sort the eigenvectors according to their eigenvalues in decreasing order. Then we choose only the first k eigenvectors that will be the new k dimensions. And then we transform the original n-dimensional data points into k dimensions. And this transformation is basically just a projection with the dot product. So this is all we have to do. So let's jump to the code. So first let's import numpy as np. 
Then let's create our class PCA. This gets an init function with self and then as a parameter, we give it the number of components. So the number of dimensions we want to have after the transformation. So we store this and say self dot n components equals n components. And then we also want to calculate the mean in a moment. But for now, we simply say this is none. Then we have our fit method, which gets self and only x and not y. Because remember, this is an unsupervised learning method. So we don't need the class labels. So only x here. And then we ca don't call the second method. We don't call this predict, but here we call this transform. And it also gets self and x. So this could be the same data, but this could also be new testing data. And now let's start with fit. So here, the first thing we do is um, we call this mean centering. So we subtract the mean. So we say self dot mean equals numpy mean of x along axis equals zero. And then we say x equals x minus self dot mean. Now we calculate calculate the covariance. And for this, we say cough equals numpy cough, and then only of x, we could also give it y, but here we want to have x and x itself. And this needs to be transposed because this function needs the samples as columns. So for this, yeah, simply check out the documentation. And now if you watch carefully, you might say that this formula already subtracts the mean. So if we have a look at the formula, then here we also subtract x bar or the mean. So why did we do this here again? And this is because, for example, if we do this on the training data, and then when we transform different data, we also first want to subtract this mean. So we say x equals x minus self dot mean. So that's why we do this in a separate step here as well. Otherwise, this, um, this result would be the very same here above in the fit method. But yeah, let's uh, move on. So now we want to calculate the eigenvectors, vectors and eigenvalues. And for this, so we can also simply calculate this in one line by saying numpy lin alk dot eig of the covariance. And then for easier calculations, we want to transpose the eigenvectors. So we say eigenvectors equals eigenvectors dot transpose because the eigenvectors V equals a, this is a column vector. So all the rows and then here we have the column I. So this is a column vector and we want to transpose this for easier calculations later. Then we want to um, sort the eigenvectors according to the eigenvalues. So for this we say the indices equals and now we can use numpy arc sort of the eigenvalues. And then we want to have this in decreasing order. So we say colon colon minus one. So from start to end with step minus one. And then we want to sort the eigenvalues. So we can say eigenvalues equals eigenvalues with those indices and the same for the eigenvectors. Eigenvectors equals eigenvectors with those indices. And now we only want to save the first number of components. So the first K dimensions, and then we store this. So here we say self dot um, N no, so, sorry, self dot components. So we also want to have the components. 
and store this here. So self dot components equals none in the beginning and then self dot components equals the eigen vectors from start until self dot n components. So only the first n components. And again, this is easier since we transposed this here. So this is all for the fit method. And then here we want to project the data and projection means after the mean centering, then projection only means the dot product. So we return NP dot and then X and then self dot components and then again we have to transpose this here and this is all that we need for PCA so now we can test this. So for testing I already prepared the code you can find this on github so let's go briefly over this we import matplotlib and data sets from sklearn then we load the iris data set in this example then we create our PCA instance and we want to keep only two dimensions here so then we call pca.fit and pca transform and this is our projected data. Then if we print the shape of x and of x projected, you will see the difference in a moment. Then let's extract the first two dimensions of the projected data and then plot this. So here the first axis is principal component one and the second one is principal component two. So if we run this, then this works. So this is the projected data now in 2D. And if we close this and print this, then we see this is the original data and this is the projected data. So we reduce the number of dimensions from four to two. So yeah, this works and this is how we can implement PCA from scratch. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and then I hope to see you in the next one.